He say that I blow his mind every time I'm activated. You just tryna catch a vibe. CC got you fascinated. Jump up on the brand new ride. BMW riding, baby. I ain't gon' tell you lies. That's just how we roll. You know what it is? What it is? How we roll? You know what it is? What it is? That's just how we roll. What's good, Scorpio, and welcome to my channel. I hope that all of my beautiful and my handsome Scorpios out there are doing well. All right, you guys, these last two reads probably going to be a little short. I'm starting to hurt a little bit, so I'm going to try to get through this. You know, I, I had a quota that I was going to get to today, so I'm going to try to get through my number and get you guys out these messages, okay? All right, so if anything resonates, you know what to do, Scorpio. Like, share, subscribe, and comment, and anything you need to know about me will be in the description box below. All right, Scorpio, let's go. So for some of you, there can be some type of past life emotion that lives within you, okay? This talks about something that you haven't all the way released. Now, if you like me, Scorpio, you could have swore for God that you released this shit, but you know, you're, you can, you can sense, you can, you can, you can sense that this emotion from someone that you experienced, you know, a, a situation or something in your past life, that emotion, those feelings, that hurt, those pains, that disappointment still lives in you. But you're starting to express it more. So in the past, you know, you may not want to open up and, you know, talk about it. You just got to put it on the back burner, kind of act like the shit didn't happen. But it's like as you're starting to express more and talk about it, you're starting to release this past, this hurt, this pain, this disappointment that you share, Okay. Now, Spirit is wanting you to be, feel, and receive abundance. You could be seeing 888. Scorpio, you can be 40 years old. All that you desire, Scorpio, is achievable. It is attainable, attainable, and you will achieve and obtain that in this lifetime, okay? Now, for some of you, it's time to do things differently. So you can be doing something differently than anybody else in your family has possibly done. It's time for you to go beyond what you already know. So this means that maybe you already know a certain way or a particular way of doing something. The Spirit is saying it's time to go beyond it and do something a little differently, okay? Let me scoop this up. Hold on. All right, so let's get into it, Scorpio. So someone I feel like has gotten out of lockdown. Now, for some of you, this could have been someone who was in jail, like in real jail, or this could have been someone who was in some type of mental prison. Like they were in this mental prison that was blocking them from moving forward, doing, you know what I'm saying, doing anything. Because when you're in prison, you can't move, you can't do anything. So someone here was in a mental prison. But it's like now they're coming to some type of realization or spirit could have shown this person like, shit, you better get out that damn mental prison because your time about to run out. So someone here feels like they're on a shot clock and, and, and their time, baby, is about to soon run out. So it's like somebody here got to bust a move real soon, okay, because they come to some type of realization. Like they're aware. Thank you, spirit. They're aware. You know, something has come to light. They're finding out something. So someone here could be learning more about this connection that you guys share. For some of you, this could be a very spiritual connection that you share with this person. They can be going or they can be in hermit mode right now. And as they're in hermit mode, you know, spirit is working with them just like they work with you, showing you, you know, who this person is to you and what you guys are here on earth supposed to be doing. So it's like someone could become aware now of, of this connection that you guys share. And maybe this is something they, they didn't understand. You know, this connection, they knew it was something different about it or something unique or something special, but they just couldn't put their finger on it, right? Now that I feel like someone has gone, so I definitely feel like the energy of someone's going through some type of spiritual awakening, okay? And the spirit is working with this person and showing them, they like, shit, you run out of time, like, shit, Scorpio about to be gone. Some of y'all are already gone. Some of y'all, y'all shit, one foot in, one foot out. You know what I'm saying? But this person is about to get some type of access granted. So I feel like now that things are coming to light, like, this could have been someone who was in spiritual jail. And it was crazy. I was thinking about spiritual jail earlier. So someone here could have been in spiritual jail here, okay? In some type of mental conflict or, or blocks or restraint where spirit wasn't allowing this person to do anything until they learned this lesson. And now they learned this lesson. Now they become aware things have come to light. 
now some type of access has been granted. Maybe this person is going to be able to have access to you now. And for some of you, who are we talking about? Your damn twin flame here, okay? Because you and this person pledged, y'all pledged this allegiance, y'all made this contract, you know, in the past life that you were going to work through this shit, y'all going to close out these cycles, close out these karma cycles, and then be able to live together, have this new beginning, have this wonderful life together, because this is the one for you. Your soul mirrors them and vice versa. I feel like now someone realizes that the access has been granted after getting out of spiritual ground, spiritual jail. This is someone who all their attention, all their focus now is on you. They only have eyes for you. They're watching you. They're fascinated by whatever it is that you're doing. For some of you, they could be watching you on social media from a, a fake profile, you know, hiding who they are because they don't want you to know who they are, Scorpio, because they know y'all ass to block them real quick, right? But they got their eye on you. And with this green here, I feel like these are loving eyes. You know what I'm saying? Like these aren't lustful eyes or, you know, things like this. Like these are very lust, loving eyes. And this person only has eyes for you. Why they only got eyes for you, Scorpio? Because she is. They ready for a commitment, baby. What was that song I was singing? I've been singing Meet Me at the Altar in Your White Dress. Like somebody here is ready for a long term relationship and with that long-term relationship baby is a ring okay if you want it then you better put a ring on it okay and this person saying shit i want it i need it in my life and i'm about to put a ring on it so get ready scorpio because some of you guys are about to be involved in a long-term relationship or commitment with someone for some of you this can be your twin this could be someone you're dealing with now but let's pull it right quick and see okay i was gonna short this out but we're gonna see we're just going to look at commitment. For some of you, this could be your twin. For some of you, this could be someone else here. So tell us about commitment, Holy Spirit. Who is Scorpio about to experience this long-term commitment with? Damn, that came out. All right, Scorpio, five of pentacles. Someone who has recovered from some type of loss, some type of spiritual poverty. I can't make this up. They've improved. They've learned some type of karmic lesson. They've experienced a, a positive change, and it will be okay for you to forgive this person if you want to. There go that five I was talking about earlier, okay? Five, five, five. Messages for my Scorpio. Tell us more. For some of you, can be dealing with a Taurus here, a Taurus season. Could be significant. Tell us about this commitment. <laughs> with this damn King of Pentacles in reverse, this person that was stubborn, materialistic. And there was obsessed with wealth and success and status. Who is Scorpio going to be involved in this long-term commitment with? This could be Capricorn or Leo. Tell us about commitment, Holy Spirit. Who is this person that Scorpio will be involved in this long-term commitment with? All right, someone, Scorpio, who was giving up some type of heavy burden. They're releasing some type of burden, responsibility, distress, whatever it is. Like, they've completed this cycle. I can't make this up. Whoever this is, they've completed their karma cycle. And for some of you, we're definitely talking about your twin. Because you remember, in the past, you were the offer that was being gifted to this person, okay? With this hand coming, coming from the cloud, you were the offer, but they didn't want that offer in the past. They, 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 were, they weren't content. They weren't happy with what was being presented to them, but now they are. And now all their attention, all their focus is on you, Scorpio. So let's pull here. Well, let's roll the dice. And let's see who this reading is about for my Scorpios. Now, if anything resonated for you, Scorpio, you go ahead and like this video, okay? All right, you can be dealing with Leo, Cancer, Gemini, Capricorn. We have Heavy Gemini, Aquarius, and Cancer again. We have Libra, Gemini, Leo, and Cancer. All right, you guys, I love you. And until next time, stay blessed.